Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Google has announced that they are taking another step towards ending the need for us to be using passwords, where they have now introduced support for pass keys across um, the different Google accounts on all the different major platforms. Now, I did post on this late last year where pass key support was added and introduced to the Google Chrome web browser. And basically, this recent announcement means that pass keys can now be used across Google services without the need to be using passwords to sign in to those different Google services. Now, just a brief overview and summary as to what pass keys are all about, um, in case you were unaware. Basically, a pass key um, works very similar to um, two factor authentication, as many of you may know. And Google says, and I'm quoting, pass keys are a new way to sign into apps and websites. They're both easier to use and more secure than passwords, so users no longer need to rely on the names of pets, birthdays, or the infamous password 123. Instead, pass, pass keys let um, users sign into apps and sites the same way they unlock their devices with a fingerprint, a face scan, or a screen lock pin. And unlike passwords, pass keys are resistant to online attacks like phishing, making them more secure than things like SMS one-time code. So that's Google's overview and summary of what pass keys are and what they are all about. Now, to get to the pass keys and to set up a pass key, just to give you a brief overview, and obviously I cannot go through the whole process um, in this video because um, there are security um, factors and I don't want to expose that to the online world. But nonetheless, um, to uh, just a brief overview as to how you can um, set this up is you just head, as an example, to your profile um, on the new tab page in Google Chrome. You click on your Manage Google account to, um, for the account that you actually want um, to set up um, that pass key for. And then when you do um, click on Manage your Google account, as many of you will know, it'll take you over to your Google account page. And um, on the left-hand side here, um, in the menu, you just click on um, security. And yeah, you'll see as one of the options, pass keys, you click on that. And then what that will do now is it'll take you over to the actual pass keys page. And yeah, we can see um, the info as mentioned, um, you can sign into your Google account using your fingerprint, face, screen lock, and so on as mentioned. And just take note, it says automatically created pass keys. Android devices automatically create pass keys for you when you sign into your Google account. So just take note of that. And then you can obviously click on that link, which will take you over where you can actually manage your Android devices and your mobile phones. Now to create a pass key, we click on this link at the bottom. And uh, it goes through all the information. Pass keys are easy to set up and so on. You click on continue. Um, yeah, you would have to um, enter your device PIN or your password if you don't have a pin set up. And once that's done, you can now use your fingerprint, face, screen lock, or hardware security key to verify it's really you signing in. You click on done, and there you go. A pass key has been created for your Google account. Now that's more or less um, how you can create a pass key. Yeah, you can see you can edit that for the device, and you can actually remove that. And obviously, I haven't shown you the whole process because there are security factors and when it comes to my own accounts at risk here, but you will get the general idea. But just go click on create a pass key, follow the steps, and it's actually a very simple process. So just letting you know about that, that um, pass keys are now available um, if you would like to try those out instead of using passwords. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.